All right, guys. So today we are going to be going over the Mobusu Ensemble Line Six. So this is kind of a earlier set, and this one does have a lot. We have a four units in total, and then there is a weapon set pack. So majority of the weapon stuff I have attached on already, and then we were just gonna go over some miscellaneous item that was included as well. So this set I wanted to get this set because of the fact that we are getting both the gun cannon and then gun tank uh, I think they are definitely a, an essential if we are just me in general for I, I guess for collection purposes just going back to the OG so let's actually go over these first because uh, they are fairly uh, simple especially the gun tank so there is nothing to write home about it's just a simple gun tank and it's uh, good for display purposes movable part wise the head does move but I would say you wouldn't want to because you are gonna bang into these two holders over here, so I wouldn't really want to do that. There are great details. You could see the cockpit, so that's actually like literally the seating of it. So that's actually pretty cool. You can rotate, so no problem. You have that. So you, if you don't want to get some, you know, cool action poses like you're firing from the side angle, you can do that. Obviously, so that's pretty good. The cannons, you can move them, no problem, right? All that good stuff. The arms. Uh, they you can just go up like that. They do spin, <laughs> so I don't know if you want. I don't know why you would want to spin them, but that is an option. The tires or the treads, they are not movable. They're just single pieces, and that's pretty much it. So nothing to write home about. Like I said again, just a fairly simple gun tank, just for a good display for sure. So the only thing I think I'm missing now is trying to get the RX-782, which I would definitely do want to get one. Uh, sooner or later, so I'm gonna see what set that one comes in and then we will definitely snatch it up next time around Probably I'll probably give it like a month or two before I order some more because um, I build all 15 of these in a short duration and I'm kind of tired <laughs> So I'm kind of tired. So I'll definitely wait a little bit longer, but uh, I do definitely want to complete the trio for sure Up next we have the gun cannon. So gun cannon has a little bit more detail into it the head was this looks pretty nice. We do have the clear blue piece and then there is like a metallic gray or not yet yeah, just like a metallic silver underneath all these um, head cameras. So they're actually fairly cool. Um, articulation wise, obviously it's pretty good on this one. It's all right. Bent, just kind of rotate right here. You do have your bench. So this one actually has one of the worst bends that I've seen. Not even a full 90 degrees. So that's kind of unfortunate. You could raise the arm up a little bit, but I think you are most of the time being hindered by the head. So if you do want to raise it up, I feel like you want to kind of take out the arm just a little bit, not too close to the torso and then just raise it up. I think that's better. Uh, that's probably how you would get some of your more dynamic poses. But other than that, the leg wise does have some great movement. I think it's just a good, yeah, good 90. And then you can swivel so not that bad so for gun tank or the gun cannon specifically you can pull up some pretty neat posts like this right here that's not bad yep it's pretty nice the other way around you can just kind of have it like i guess you can take out the rifle right and then kind of have like a pose where the gun cannon is firing off those two cannon on the shoulder whoops pop that off so you can kind of do something like this Gonna twist it up like this and kind of have a light firing away. Uh, this one does actually have like a separate cannon, so the other one is the missile pods. So we have two of these. So this one attached on to the right side, and then you have this one. I think this one is actually it looks cool as well. Um, so you do have some different options. So dash not bad, but other than that, I mean that's pretty much it for the gun can itself so, uh, just a pretty simple kit just for the nostalgic of the original Gundam so pretty nice pretty nice all right up next we have the big boy over here so this one I have strapped on a lot of the weapon extension whatever you, you call it so regularly when you're just buying it you don't have these two these are like the option sets that you get so this one even the bazooka is an add-on so even the rifle is an add-on 
So what does it originally comes in? What does the Jaken has? So the Jaken only has a beam saber and that's pretty much it. So you literally have the kits, you have the beam saber, that was it. So this one is pretty clever because they add, they really did add in a lot for the Jaken. Uh, besides just the weapon set, you also do have a separate headpiece that you can replace in. So this one has a different type of antenna. And also, they have this. They give you a different cockpit kind of a uh, selection here. So that's kind of cool as well. So just the base Jagan right now, I think is probably good because a lot of the articulation, let's say from the upper section are still there. Once you do slide on like the rockets on here, like no, it's it's gonna get a little bit clumsy and posability wise, it's kinda eh, not that great. So I think right now it's actually pretty good. So you can get in like your really cool dynamic poses. Um, so that's pretty good. Let's see, get that bend going on. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. We can actually raise the arm, I think, right? No, we can just do this, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, Jagans are cool. Whoops, right when I ripped out the arm, yeah, Jagans are really cool. Like these in general, they do make a pretty fun display. Can I not get that back in? So we're there. So backpack wise, we do have these right here. So these can just rotate whatsoever. I believe the instructions say you can put these on here. Like if you don't have the additional weapon sets, you can place them here instead. So. I don't know why you would want to do that or it, just, it doesn't really matter. It's more like a preference because you do have two different slots to uh, plug into so it, it don't matter. But other than that, just like this is fine or you can just say, I don't know if you have the weapon set, you can just get the beam rifle that it has. Then that's good because like when I saw this one, I was remembering the very first scene from Unicorn where that Star Jagan was crazy, man. Dueling the Kasatria head on was, yeah, that was insane. So I think for these ones, they're definitely really memorable for that. So we have that. Uh, let's actually change up the head part now. I have actually not tried out this head piece. I just want to see how that looks like. So the center piece is going to be a st uh, stiff connection because you do have to peg it into that hole right there. So it, you know it's going to be really secure because you have that. So let me see. Oh, I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Oh, this one looks pretty good as well. So it's kind of like, if, uh, if only we have a different leg replacement, that would be cool because it's kind of like your regular J game without the armor. So I think that would be cool. Uh, this one, you can, I, I think I like the beam saber on here. Like J game with the beam saber and the rifle is, to me, seems like a go-to because they, they're they crazy and out in the battlefield. So got this on, got that. Yeah, this thing, this thing is a menace. Ooh. Giving him that, look. yeah, that looks cool. If we do place it with the bazooka, it's gonna look something like this. So this would be the correct direction. Yep, wrap that. So you can just kind of have it like this, firing it away. So yeah, I mean, Jaken for this set definitely has the most playability with just different options you can play with. And I would definitely argue to pick up a separate Jaken so you can display everything in total like you know you have the basic like the base sets you have you have it with these like it, it's gonna look amazing for the collection purposes just for the display itself so let me just kind of rest it on the side for now all right and lastly we have the v2 assault so v2 assault looks pretty good and as far as the basic kit itself we don't have the shield and then we do not have the mega beam rifle so this is what you would originally get this kit as. So you just, can I take them off? All right, so this is what you would originally have. So you have nothing, but I think overall, the V2 is already good as just a, a unit to post in your shelf. Uh, I think overall it looks pretty amazing and it's cool. Like why not? The only thing that we don't have is actually just the wing of light. I believe the wings of light actually comes in the EX kits version. So you have to buy your premium bandit one. But overall, it looks pretty amazing itself. Uh, Articulation-wise, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you are going to be a little bit more hindrance by these sides here because they are actually the visper just on the torso or yeah, on the waist. So you can kind of have them up and then have it as like aspiring. So you have that. It's not the best angle to get it at, but 
I think it definitely does the job. The go accent on these are actually not that bad. Um, like I had to do a cut right there just to get off the runner, and then there's nothing on the legs, like the one on the on the kneecap. They're actually pretty good. And then the go accent on the shoulder pads are actually pretty nice as well, and it's not rubbing up at all. It's pretty intact. I've been playing around for like a, you know a few few times just trying to get some poses, and overall still being uh, pretty good. All right, but what if I tell you I can make this into the V2 Assault Buster as well? So a while ago, I actually rolled for, I believe it was the Ensemble set number five. And I happened to got the weapon set. So what I can get now, I have this one. This one is literally your Assault Buster form. So this one is the Buster with, you know, the wings and whatnot. So we can actually just, you know, do this and then bam. Now this unit looks completely different. It looks more OP with you know the cannon and all that stuff. And we also do have a separate you know front skirts and whatnot. So we actually do have this piece to place on here. So that's actually good. New back part piece and then the legs also do have some attachment as well. So let me get everything together and then we will see how it looks like. Everything together, this is how it looks like. And yeah, this thing looks amazing. Uh, it just looks, I guess you can say it's more complete than just having the assault form. And as far as moving wise, yeah, things are getting a little bit more jam packed. So I don't know if you really want to move things around. I, I wouldn't because there's not much to move around to begin with. So I guess you can still kind of get your firing pose in I think so you can kind of do that and then you can kind of get all those whisper coming kind of come, come up like that I, I think you can it's kind of hard because the side skirt isn't really designed all that well to have a display out like that but you can do it you can kind of do it so you can kind of have a like post like a post like that so I guess that's gonna work yeah I think that should work pretty nice but um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it. So definitely the Ensemble lineup 6 is definitely not too shabby. It does come with a lot of, you know, genuinely good stuff to play around with, especially just some option sets, uh, especially the Jagan. They definitely went all out. They give you a lot of variants. So if you do want to buy a few Jagan just to play around with, uh, definitely do so because they do give you a lot of different sets to play around with. But other than that, that's going to be it in terms of the review for the Ensemble line number six. And I'll be catching you guys on, on the next one.